Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Caudalie Vino Sun Protect Brightening Daily Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. This product retails for $39. I did just see a video of this come up in my feed and I had already ordered it from Sephora, but someone said this is not a new launch from Caudalie. It is just a newer launch to the US market. This is a tinted mineral sunscreen SPF 50 and from the looks of it, it seems to have a very lightweight feel to it. Only thing is in the review that I saw, someone said it was more dry which may be better for oily skin, but I haven't even felt the product yet. I'm not a huge fan of matte sunscreens, but I will just be seeing what I personally notice with this product. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Fragrance-free from Caudalie is very impressive. I have not seen very many fragrance-free options from them. The big things I'll be looking for with this product include how does it feel on the skin, does it cause any acne, and also what finish does it leave, and how does it wear overall. As for anything else, so I'll be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product and let's also have a first impression together with it. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Caudalie is not my favorite brand. They have always included a lot of fragrance in their products, never been drawn to a product, but this one seems to have amazing ingredients in it. Also love the packaging of it. I also got a little bit nervous when I saw a review that said it was a little bit more mattifying. I wanted to put that to the test. The tint is very light. So, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't feel like, even though this has a very lightweight texture to it, don't feel like this is gonna be the most universal sunscreen. And I could be proven wrong with that. Definitely look up reviews of creators who look like you to get an accurate depiction of what this product will perform like on your skin tone, because this is just, it, it's very light. I think I'm gonna be able to get away with it, but I am very pale usually able to get away with more mineral formulas. I, I do get a little bit of a matte finish from it, at least on my wrist. I do a little bit more than the three finger technique because it is fluid. Like this is a very light, fluidy sunscreen. We may become Casper today. This is, <laughs> Ooh. I also need to shave. So we will have a perfect depiction of how it collects in facial hair because mineral sunscreens are just known for that, wow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so going off of what I said, definitely not gonna work for deeper skin tones whatsoever. This is a no. Okay, so far the finish starts a little bit dewy. This is obviously just a first impression, so the wear test will be a true test to how this product feels long term. I do definitely see it going into the skin a little bit more. Once it absorbs, it might become more matte. Not for sure on that. I think I could make it work. It's not terrible. It started off a little scary but I might be able to make this product work. I will tell with this. I mean, the white cast is pretty bad. I don't hate it. It's not the worst, honestly. I've seen way worse mineral sunscreens that are SPF 30s. Um, not my favorite. It is like, I feel it drying down. I definitely see that happening. It, it's definitely still like a radiant finish. It's not drying to my skin, but I definitely feel it drying down. So I will keep you posted on how it wears and that will really help form my opinion on it. I also wanna see how it layers because this could be a sunscreen that you're only able to go in with once and white cast could get bad, it could start collecting. Honestly, for an SPF 50, it doesn't feel heavy, which is a standout point, but the white cast will definitely be bad on deeper skin tones. So I'm gonna see if I'm able to get away with it. I will keep you all posted. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone. I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I was really not a fan of this sunscreen. I stopped using it about three days after I began this trial because I noticed this sunscreen was doing something a little bit odd with my skin. I saw a review saying this was a patchy sunscreen and that it was very drying. And the more that I wore it, the more I found that to be true. I took a photo, not sure if it is visible, but when I use this sunscreen, it 
it collected in my pores and just was showing a lot of texture in my skin. It really was not my favorite sunscreen whatsoever. For a mineral SPF 50, I wasn't sure what to expect. I can already establish that I don't feel like this is a universal sunscreen for all skin tones. This is definitely designed for paler skin because the tint really didn't do much correcting. It did leave a pretty bad white cast and this product was extremely drying as well. I do sometimes love a matte sunscreen in the summertime and I've loved some matte products while also some matte sun sticks as well. This just really didn't do it for me. I was not a fan of the finish of this product because it did show texture. Sometimes with mattifying products, they can either be soft blurring. An example of that is the Purito Soft Touch sunscreen that I tried. It started a little bit dewy, but once it dried down, it was a very soft touch finish. The Haru Haru was also like that, but with this product, it was so drying that it just collected in my pores. It really made me not want to use this product, so that is why I discontinued use. This definitely is a sunscreen that I feel like would be designed for really oily skin types, but in my opinion, it's just not my favorite. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week. I will see you all in the next review.